Hi, everybody. Here we are, live. Okay. I'm just logged on a little early to get people, hey, Sherp, <laughs> to get people logged in and ready. We'll start right at five Pacific Standard Time. This is so fun. Hi, Adrian. Yoga in the living room. Totally different experience. My face looks very shiny. I'm in a window. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Adrian. <laughs> hey, Samson. Namaste. Are y'all ready for a yoga sculpt body weight class this evening? It's going to get fun, put it that way. Yay, HP, can't wait to flow with you too, Joel. Same, so excited. Maybe I'll play a little waiting music while we're waiting. Hey, Kaylee. You can access the live session later. <laughs> She's back, Amy. Um, Heather, can you let them know is is it uh does it stay on for uh, n yes, you can use weights. It is a body weight sculpt class today. So if you have weights and you feel like adding them in for some of the moves, go for it. Um, and Sherv, does it stay up online all the time? Hey, Lex. Stays on for two weeks. Oh, for a week. Sweet. All videos. Live in the past. So if you can't stay for the full video or you want to access them again, you can get them for a full week. Isn't that exciting? Here's a little music while we're waiting. Yeah, same Adrian. Hi, Diana. I know you. Rep in the South Bay. <laughs> Thank you. I do my best to <laughs> decorate my house for, yes, the lobby music, to be peaceful and easeful. So I hope everyone's been taking care of themselves during this time. And I'm so grateful that we have this opportunity to move and breathe together since we can't do it in our studios. We're gonna get started in about four minutes. Um, in the meantime, if you'd like to grab a block or a water bottle or books for blocks, those are always great ways to integrate props in if you don't have props at home. And today we'll be working into full wheel at the end of class, towards the end of class. So get ready for some booty work and strong back line, hamstrings. It's gonna be fun. Hi Beth, so excited you're here to move and breathe. I can't wait either. I've been looking forward to this all day and preparing all day. 
Um, yes, I will ask our core power leader if our music is shareable. Hey, AC. Ooh, Adrian, did you take her class on Yoga On Demand? Thank you, Heather. Okay, a couple more minutes. So again, get what you need to get situated. Thanks, Amy. I'm so free to have her class. Yvonne, woo woo. <laughs> Brittany, hey Neil. Uh, all the homies are hopping on. Okay, I'm gonna pause this music that's playing here and get us uh, prepared and ready to start. So again, if you're just hopping in um, and you would like to bring in additional props to your practice, you wanna use weights, you have weights at home, it's fine. This is a yoga sculpt body weight class. So it's a fusion of C2 and our sculpt using our bodies. Um, for intensity and that you're welcome to grab if you have a block or um, books at home or water bottle is a great tool to support your practice. And before we start moving and breathing, Adrian, this is the Yoga Sculpt Bodyweight class. And my name is Emily Schmuckler. Welcome to my living room. Um, I am a master trainer on the yoga team and super excited to be uh, moving and breathing with you. Um, so I realize that this is such a unique situation that we're in and moving and breathing at home um, and you know, out of our regular routine of going into the studios. And what I've been reflecting on is that this is a moment that the universe has kind of given us to just pause and to breathe. Um, so I'd love to, before we start actually practicing together, get you in to share and type in to the community and share how this pause and breathe has created more space for you. And in that space, um, what have you become more present and open to in your day? So um, if you're feeling up for sharing in the chat function, again, share how this pause in our daily scheduled lives, this pause and breathe moment has created more space for you um, and in that moment of space, what have you become more open or present to? Uh, for me personally, it's given me the time to notice where I maybe have patterns of thought or action or routines that maybe aren't serving me and really getting to the root to breathe into this like space of freedom, of openness and expansiveness, this pause in the the daily whirlwind that we all get caught up in um, to focus on the things that fuel me. So be brave, be bold, share. This is our awesome CPY community. Type in the chat function. Mm, thank you, Heather. Space to manifest live stream CPY. Absolutely we would not have done it so fast. What else? More time to reconnect virtually with some of my favorite humans, opening up space to understand the deep importance of connection. Yeah. Ooh, Diana. Hi, Sarah. Creating more art. Mm, thank you for creating more art. Yeah, Brittany, reconnecting with family and friends. Mm, and take a moment, like as you're typing this in, 
what you're reconnecting to or what you're rediscovering or opening up to, how has that impacted how you feel in your day? Eddie, it's humbled me, created more room for the beauty in the world. Making new friends like Brittany, thank you. The importance of pausing to check in with myself a lot more. Thank you, Adrian. Space to have deep and long connects with friends that you don't get to talk to enough. Same. These are so powerful. Being more aware of and taking care of my physical space since I'm not normally home so much. Yeah, Neil. More home cooked meals and introspection. Isn't that interesting how some of the things that like fuel us reinforce how important relationships are? Yeah, get neglected. So this like universal pause. Hi, Susan. Power of community, importance of community, reaching out, clearing clutter, connecting with family, friends, mm, Zoom dates, recognizing beauty. Thank you, Yvonne. These are awesome. Keep them coming in. And as you're, you're sharing the, if you're just joining, um, we are typing in how the pause and breathe that the universe has given us has created more space. And so what I've asked or inquired about is what you become more open to and present to. And I guess the follow-up question to that is, how has that impacted your state? How has that shifted how you feel and how you're showing up for yourself? So if you've already shared, do that follow-up question. How has that shifted your state? How is what you've shared? Hi, from Denver, yay. Amanda. So much time for meditation, pre preparing for life after this. Thank you, Brooke. Pause gives us time to clean. Yes, Joel, and not only clean the house that you're physically in, but the house that you're physically in. Um, we're in the spring, sort of, in some parts of the country. So this is a great time to clean your physical space and your body, your temple. We'll get started in a few minutes here, but I wanted to leave the chat function open for a few more shares, because I know we have a lot of people on, again, to just reflect and honor that we're in a really unique time and I'll introduce myself again. I'm Emily Schmuckler, um, and I'm so excited to be sharing Yoga Sculpt Bodyweight with you today. So if you haven't shared yet, what are you most becoming more present and open to? And how has that shifted your well-being? Frequent check-ins allows me to be okay with how I'm feeling. We will see the other side of this. Yes, and lean into kindness. Thank you, Adrian. So one of my favorite things, uh, aside from practicing yoga, is also studying Ayurveda. And um, I would say that this time that we're in um, gives us that pause, that ability to be present and open to the things that um, maybe we've neglected. And one of the most important things that Ayurveda teaches us is that our digestion needs to be strong. More naps. Yeah, Victoria, same. Um, and if we are allowing ourselves to feel the feelings that are coming up to process mm, how connected we are, even when we're apart. Yes, Megan. Uh, to process, to have this space to really be um, processing our emotions and our connections with people, knowing that we're not alone, um, then the anxiety can kind of calm down. 
the things that create disease in the body won't be as strong because we've given our time, our self time to lean into this open space. So thank you for um, being brave and sharing your experience. And if you're ready to move and breathe, um, you can continue to share into the chat function. Yes, mindfulness and the fuel is a fuel for our body and our mind. Absolutely. And I'll invite you as you practice today to explore this space and the sense of openness. And um, even if you're doing moves and postures that you're familiar with, how the, that sp expansion and spaciousness um, maybe uh, sharpens your attunement or your awareness to something different. So continue to type into the chat function. And again, if you're ready to move and breathe and you'd like to get a water bottle block or book, grab it and then start to make your way onto your mat. Thank you, Diane. I'm ready for this. So come onto your mat. Roll down onto your backs into recline bound angle. Draw the soles of your feet together. Open your knees wide and roll all the way back. Place one palm to your belly, one palm to your heart and allow gravity to open your knees towards the floor. And gently blink your eyelids closed. And in this space, this pause, this moment to breathe, Feel the rise and fall of your breath underneath your palms and the beautiful beating of your heart, reminding you that this moment is so precious. Just be here right now. Begin to explore the capacity of your breath, fully inhale, fill up, and fully exhale, let go. Breathe in, fill up life force into your belly, your lungs, your heart space. Exhale, soften. And if you'd like a little more heat, you can always turn on ujjayi breath, creating a little resistance in the back of your throat. Firing up ujjayi breath. One more expansive breath. Take up space. Fill up into the deepest wells of your lungs. Hold at the top of your inhale, slight breath retention, and then exhale, soften. Gently gather your knees together, hug your knees in towards your chest. Happy baby, you stamp your feet up to the sky. Grab for the inner or outer edges of your feet or the back of your knee pits. Anchor your tailbone down. Gaze straight up and slightly tuck your chin down to iron out your spine. Take a generous breath here to welcome the length in your spine and the spaciousness in your lungs. Inhale your knees to your chest. Exhale, ground your heels down, plant your palms towards the floor. Inhale, bridge, lift your hips up towards the sky. Ground your feet into the floor and shelf the back of your heart up underneath your shoulders. Continue to scoop your shoulder blades together to puff up your chest and breathe deeply into the back of your heart space. Take one more cycle of breath here. Inhale, exhale slowly, lower one vertebra at a time. Hug your knees in and rock up into a standing forward fold. Separate your feet hip width distance apart. Allow buoyancy in your knees. Fold your body over your thighs. Relax your head from your neck. Allow gravity to take its work with your body. And then gently release your left palm down to the floor. Inhale, easy twist. Sweep your right arm high. Bend into your left knee. Co-contract your obliques to peel your chest open. Breathe in. Exhale, release your right palm down. Inhale, sweep your left palm up to the sky. Peel your chest open. Draw your navel up and in and open your chest to all the possibilities. Fill up, breathe in. 
Exhale, slowly release. Toe heel your feet together or keep your feet hip width. Gently roll up, undulate your spine. One vertebra at a time. Stand at attention, draw both palms together at your heart. Imprint your heart into your thumbs. Squeeze your palms together to burst your chest open. Gently close your eyes or soft your gaze to your fingertips. I welcome you to explore this space and become open to things that, and patterns that you'd like to undo or release in your practice today. Big breath in, fill up into the expansiveness of your lungs. Shared exhale. Gently release your palms by your sides. Blink your eyes open. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana. Circle sweep your arms up and overhead. Root firmly into your feet, hold and breathe. Ease your shoulders away from your ears. Rotate your elbow points forward to broaden through your shoulders. Breathe in. Exhale, reverse prayer, back bend. Bring your thumbs to the nape of your neck. Wrap your elbows by your face. Lean up and back and think more about strong back line to lift your chest up. Squeeze your glutes to support the foundation of your body. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Draw your palms through your heart, hinge forward. Relax your head, relax your neck. Inhale, standing out. Float your left leg up. Flex your toes, lift your sternum. For more heat, you can always bring your palms to your heart. Breathe in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Draw your left knee to your right calf. You can tent your fingers to the floor or welcome a block or uh, your water bottle underneath your hands. Squeeze your knees in to activate your adductors. Inhale, standing out. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, Tadasana, reach up. Exhale, reverse prayer, back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, standing out this time, lift your right leg up, hold here, breathe. Flex your toes down, cinch your left hip up, right hip down, breathe in, lengthen your spine. Exhale, Shiva squat, right knee, left calf, squeeze your inner thighs together, open through your chest. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, standing forward fold. That's our flow, inhale, mountain. Exhale, reverse prayer, back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, standing out, lift your left leg. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, standing out. Exhale, fold one more time. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, reverse prayer, back bend. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Lift your right leg. Exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, reach your arms up. Hold and breathe. Trust your weight back into your heels. Energetically pull your heels apart to light up your outer hips. Then bite your front ribs in to Engage through your 360 core. Wrap your pinkies towards one another, open through your chest. Inhale, exhale, chair with airplane arms. Sweep your palms back, then up. Kiss your shoulder blades together, rotate your pinkies down. Lift your chest. Inhale, one leg mountain, float your left leg up. Press into your big toe mound. Flex your lifted ankle and toe. Pull your Tailbone down to encourage your navel up and in. Breathe in. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Bend your back knee, your front knee. Send your left leg back and dock your toes lightly. Rotate your palms down, lift your chest. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach your arms up. Exhale, double lunge with the lat pull. Pull your elbows down. Scissor your inner thighs together to stabilize your foundation. Then squeeze your elbows behind your back line, and feel this strong spine open your chest up. Inhale, star, turn your toes out. 
heels in, maybe even add some wiggles of your fingers. Exhale, horse, palms to your heart. Bend your knees, sink your hips down. Trend your knees to the edges of your feet. Feel your inner thighs open up and rotate. Lift your sternum to your thumbs. Inhale, star, rather, warrior two. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge, release your palms to the mat. Listen here. Inhale, wide arm plank. Bring your thumbs on the mat, fingers off. Lower down halfway, eight push-ups. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Option to come to your knees. Resist gravity for two, one. Inhale, high plank, press up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Hold here. Sink your weight back. Squeeze your knees together. Rotate your palms down to open through your chest. Inhale, one leg mountain. Slow your right leg up. Reach your arms overhead. Press into your big toe mound. Level your hips and flex your lifted foot. Breathe in. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Bend your standing knee. Float your leg back and dock your toes lightly. Scissor your inner thighs together. Hinge forward, open through your chest. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach your arms up, hold and breathe. Lift your back heel over the ball mount of your foot. Inhale, reactivate through your fingers. Exhale, double lunge with a lap pull. Hover your back knee. Kiss your elbows down behind you. Open through your chest. Inhale, star pose. Turn your toes out, heels in, reach up. Exhale, horse squat. Sink down into your legs. Feel the root of your foundation, the foundation of your legs. Create freedom through your upper body. Inhale, warrior two. Expand open. Ground through the back edge of your foot. Open through your chest. Breathe in. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, wide arm plank. Second set, push-ups, lower halfway. It's lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Great work, keep it up for four, three. High plank in two, on one, inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Notice where you've created space. Send breath where you feel it. Notice what comes up for you from just being warmed up. We'll flow that breath to movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, one leg mountain, lift your left leg. Exhale, crescent, airplane arms. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Follow the rhythm of your breath. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, high to low plank. Take your vinyasa, move your body with intention. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, one leg mountain, lift your right leg. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane arms. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, double lunge with lat pull. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Ground through your palms. Inhale, up dog, or hold your plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great job, team. Breathe in. Breathe out. Adding on, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, drinking bird. Lift your heels. You can stay here or moving into calf raises. Lower, lift. Lower, lift. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. As you lift your heels, pulse your arms up to the sky, creating more muscles, working at once. Keep squeezing your knees together. Open through your chest. Dig deep. Breathe. Here for four, three, one leg mountain, two, and one. Inhale, lift your left leg. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, double lunge with lat pull. Hold here, twist. Right, center. Right, center. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Always an option to lower to your knee or lift your back knee off the floor. Twist your torso over your thigh and co-contract your obliques. Keep breathing for four, three, two, star pose on one. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse squat, palms to heart. Option to stay here or horse pulse. Up, up, exhale, exhale. Send your heels down, feel the burn of your thighs. Option to add your arms, flip up and down, up and down. Exhale, exhale. Here for eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, star pose into, and one, inhale, star, shake it out. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse, listen here. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, plank. Exhale, forearm plank, lower to your elbows. You can stay here or add the knee tap. Tap right, left, right, left. Exhale, exhale. Always an option to hold on your knees or your forearms. Make an 11 shape or interlace your palms. Energetically pull your elbows towards one another to open through your heart. Keep breathing. Four, three, Two, high plank on one. Inhale, plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One breath to reset. Let this take up space in your lungs. Breathe in. Big open mouth. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, drinking bird, second set. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Option to add the arms. Swing your arms through chair on your heels down and fly them back on the heel lift. Hug your knees together. Fire up the back of your calves. Pull your navel up and in to support through your center. For four, three, one leg mountain, two, and one, inhale, lift your right leg. Exhale, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge, you're doing great, team. Exhale, double lunge with lap pole, you know it's coming. Oblique twist, twist left, center, left, center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Again, option to lower your knee to the floor or hover your knee even a little bit lower for more intensity. Keep breathing. Lift up through your ribs. Twist your elbow over your thigh. For four, three, star pose into, and one, inhale, star. Exhale, horse squat. Option to stay here. Option to add a pulse or add a hop. Up, up, exhale, exhale. Turn up the intensity of your breath, especially if you're in your house solo. Continue to breathe evenly. Dig deep into your toe mounds. Four, three, two, 
and one. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, forearm plank. Option to stay in forearm plank or moving to forearm dolphins. It's lift your hips up, lower your hips down. Exhale, inhale. Pull your low belly in to move your hips up towards the sky. And then ground your palms down into the mat. Keep breathing for four, three, high plank in two, and one, inhale plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, big breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, frog pose. Walk your feet to the outside of your wrists. Send your hips down. Team, this is a great time to take a sip of water. Just a sip, try not to chug. I'll join you. We'll move into frog squats. Now this is an option if you have a water bottle or a block. You can take a block between your heels or a water bottle or books between your heels from your frog. frog. And then place your fingertips down onto the mat or on your block. Then lift your hips lower. It's lift and lower. Press down to your toe mounds. Lift. Lower. Exhale. Inhale. If this is too much on your knees, open your feet out wide and take a nice wide squat. You should feel a burn in your quads. Dig deep into your heels. Nice and slow. Stay steady. Keep breathing. Here for four. Three. Frog squat in two. And one. Squat it down. Take your hands, plant them shoulder width apart, moving through squat, or rather, I call these like frog lunges. Step back, back, forward, forward. Back, back, forward, forward. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Always an option to alternate your feet. Stay grounded and present. Glue your palms down. See what's opening up for you in this challenge. Keep breathing. Final four, three, frog in two, and one. Frog squat, big breath in, big breath out. I promise I love you. One more round of frog squats. Bring your block either between your heels or your feet. Plant your palms, second set. Start with your hips down. It's up, up, down, down. Slow-mo, up and down. Exhale, inhale, keep going. Exhale, inhale. Here for four, three, two, <laughs> And one, hips down. All right, they're adding on to our frog, our lunges, adding a push-up. So repeat after me. It's hands, right, left, lower, lift, left, right, clap, plant, right, left, lower, lift, right, left, clap, keep going, hands, Right, left, lower, lift, right, left, clap. Right, hands, right, left, lower, lift, right, left, clap. Last one, hands, right, left, lower, lift, right, left, clap. Woo, stand up, shake it out, give yourself a fist bump. You're doing awesome. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, reverse prayer, back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. 
Inhale, one leg mountain, lift your left leg. Exhale, figure four. Open up your knee, slide your left foot on top of your thigh. Option is stay here or figure four squat. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You can keep your foot on your thigh or float your leg up. Keep breathing, stay with it. Four more, four, three, two, and one, inhale, mountain. Exhale, palms to heart, take a breath in. I'm gonna breath out. Where do you feel like you've pushed yourself to your edge? And how can you continue to create more space for your capacity to handle challenge? Bring your palms behind the nape of your neck. Reverse dancer. Moving into hamstring curl. Lower your heel, lift, lower, lift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Send your heel towards your glute. Then press through your thumbs behind the nape of your neck and bite your ribs in to create your 360 core stability from your center. Lift your hip points up simultaneously for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, crescent, two, airplane arms, one. Step back, press and lunge, airplane arms. Inhale, star, this time pivot toes in, heels in line with toes. Exhale, lateral lunge to the back. Reach your arms out wide. Lat lunge to the back with lat pull. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Dig deep into your heel. Squeeze your elbows behind you to strengthen your back line. Strong spine, open heart, allows us to show up not only for ourselves, but then all of humanity. Dig deep and breathe. Here for eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, so strong team, two, one, inhale star, exhale warrior two, inhale reverse, exhale high to low plank, chaturanga, inhale up dog, Exhale, downward facing dog. I don't know if you're sweating, but I'm sweating at home. Take a reset breath here, breathe in. Big breath out. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Exhale, airplane arms. Inhale, one leg mountain, float your right leg up. Exhale, figure four, cross your edge of your foot on your thigh, sink your hips back, start in a low squat for figure four squats. Lift, lower, lift, lower, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Option to float your right knee up or even place your foot down for basic squats. You choose your own experience. Yeah, Megan, <laughs> for four. Three, two, mountain pose on one, inhale mountain. Exhale, reverse prayer, your palms behind your head. Kick your right heel up for no hand dancer, hamstring curl. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Send your heel up towards your glute to fire up your hamstring. Press your Thumbs against the nape of your neck, and then splay your ribs inwards. Imagine you're wearing a corset from your pelvis up to your sternum. For eight, seven, crescent lunge, six, five, airplane arms, four, three, last two, and one, crescent airplane arms. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, double lunge. Inhale, star. Exhale, lateral lunge to the back. 
Option to stay with the lat pull, or rather stay with the lat pull, reach your arms up, lat pull on the up. It's lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Dig into your right heel and feel your outer hip fire up for stability. Squeeze your elbows behind you to light up your back line. Feel the spaciousness as you breathe deeply where you need more stability. Keep breathing for eight, seven, six, five, star pose in four, three, last two, and one. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Great job, team. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, lower to high plank. Exhale, lower all the way down to your bellies. Then bring your fingertips behind your ears and extend your feet out hip width distance. Plant your toenails into the floor. Back extension. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Option to unify your heels up with your upper body. Press your pubic bone down into the floor to engage through your entire back line. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, Five, here for four, three, last two, release on one, roll onto your right side. So I'm gonna scooch a little forward so I have some space. Extend your left leg out long, flex your toes, moving into rainbows. Tap front, center, back, center. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You can carve your toes down for more intensity. Working on your side butt, so important for our low back and posture. Press down into your forearm. Keep breathing for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hip dips in two. And one, you can ground into your feet or your knees. Keep your forearm down, hand behind your head. Lift your hips up. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Elevate your hips off the floor and cinch your ribs towards your pelvis to light up your side core. For eight, seven, six, Five, on your back and four, three, two, and one. Roll all the way onto your back. Ground your feet onto the floor, bend your knees. Plant your palms by your heels. Hip lifts, lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Press evenly into your feet and energetically pull your heels towards your shoulders to light up your hamstrings. Squeeze your glutes at the top of range of motion for more glute engagement. Option to robot your arms and press into the back of your arms for more lift of your chest towards your chin. Feel the opening of the front line of your pelvis, creating more space and opportunity to learn and grow. Keep breathing, final four, three. Left side in two, and one. Roll onto your left side. Extend your left leg out for rainbows on the left. Tap front, center, back, center. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Press into your forearm, flex your toes down for more intensity. Kick your heel up and feel your outer hips engage. Keep breathing. 
Stay with it. Final eight. Seven. Six. Five. Last four. Three. Hip dips in two. On your left side one. Here we go. Ground your feet. Option to come to your feet or your knees. Lift your hips lower. Lift lower. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Press into your forearm. Cinch your ribs towards your hips. And feel your side core create stability on your cylinder of your body. Your Mani Pona Chakra, the radiant gold light shining through. And breathe. Final eight, seven, six, five. On your belly, four, three, two, and one. Roll back onto your belly. Last little push. Extend your legs out long. Reach your arms out long. For swimmers, lift your right, left, lift, lower, lift, lower. So you can stay at this pace, opposite arm and leg lifting, or pick it up and swim. Kick, kick, kick for eight, seven, six, five, Last four, three, you're going so strong for two, and one, release. Bring your forehead onto your palms, crocodile pose. Sway your hips side to side. Release any tension from your low back. And then like a pancake, flip yourself back over onto your back. Eagle your right leg over your left. Option for the double wrap. Eagle your right arm underneath your left. You can go for the double wrap or grab for your shoulders. Eagle crunches. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Squeeze your knees towards your elbows and glue your belly button down. Iron out your low back on the mat. Feel the space you're creating even by contracting. One of my favorite mentors, Heather Peterson, says we contract to expand. So notice as you contract the deep center of your core where you're creating more space for four, three, two, figure four, your legs on one. Ground your left foot, open your right knee wide. Flex your right foot, bring your hands behind your head. Open your elbows wide for figure four twist. Twist right, center, right, center. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Option to keep your left foot grounded or lift your shin parallel to the floor for more intensity. Continue to breathe and work deep into your core. Great job, yogis. For eight, seven, Six, five, eagle crunches, four, three, two, and one. For a reset, bring both knees to your chest. Circle your hips side to side. Then cross your left knee over your right, left elbow under right. Grab your shoulders or your palms. It's squeeze, open, close, open, exhale, inhale, exhale, Inhale, kiss your elbows towards your knees and kiss your knees together to light up your inner thighs. Keep breathing, keep moving for eight, seven, six, five, figure four and four, three, two, and one. Ground your right foot. Ground open up your left knee flex your left foot hands behind your head open your elbows wide figure four twist all the way to the left twist left center left center exhale inhale exhale inhale option to stay here or float your bottom leg to organize your low belly core i invite you to get curious inquire what am i being present to right now 
As I contract, where am I expanding? For eight, seven, six, dig deep team, five, last four, three, two, and one. Welcome both knees towards your chest. Lift your shins parallel to the floor. Final push, flex your feet. Isometric hold, plant your palms onto your thighs. Thighs onto your palms. Push your hands into your legs. Option to lift your chest off the floor for more intensity. Shaking is good, it means you're working into your belt-like core. For four, three, two, and one full body stretch. Reach your arms and legs opposite direction. Generous breath in, generous breath out. Again, inhale and exhale. All right, yogis, this is where we get to take up the most space. Working towards wheel. Option to take bridge with the chest expansion. We'll take three back bends here. Ground your feet on the floor. First set is bridge. Ground your feet, lift your hips, shelf the back of your heart. Again, you can robe out your arms or interlace your hands underneath. Relax your glute muscles and pull your heels back towards your shoulders. Send your chin, your chest towards your chin. Breathe. Remember that when you have a strong spine, you create an open heart, allowing us to be more open and present to what's most important in our lives. One more breath in. Exhale, constructive rest. Roll down one vertebra at a time. Draw your knees together. Walk your feet wider than your mat. One palm to your belly, one palm to your heart. Full breath in. Expansive breath out. This next heart opener is for someone that you love. So someone in your life that maybe needs a little bit more space, a little more openness. Second set of bridge. This time if you want to work in a full wheel, bring your fingertips towards your shoulders. Wrap your biceps by your ears. You can press up onto the crown of your head or press down and lift your chest off the mat. Dig into your heels and burst your chest open. Keep breathing. One more full cycle of breath. Inhale. Exhale, second set of constructive rest. Come down the same way you came in. Draw your knees to touch. Place one palm opposite on your heart, the other one on your belly. And feel if your heart is beating a little faster. That's just your reminder of how alive you are in this moment, even when things be, are put on pause. What a gift we have to be right here in our bodies. All right, this final heart opener, back bend, is for you. So you choose bridge, wheel. If you want to take another one that you know at home, final back bend. Inhale, push your heels down, lift your hips. Option for full wheel, plant your palms, lift your chest, or any other back bend that calls to you. Three honest breaths here. Big breath in. Exhale, slowly lower. Recline bound angle. Just like we started class. Draw the soles of your feet together. Open your knees wide. Big breath in. Sweet sigh out. Again, inhale. Exhale. And draw your knees in towards your armpits and up towards your chest. Rock up to a seated position. Extend your right, I'm gonna switch to a little bit slower of a song. It's really intense here. Okay. Extend your left leg forward and cross your right foot on top of your left thigh. So you can stay here or move into seated figure four, bend your left knee, plant your palms behind you, lift your chest. Great place to stay or for double pigeon, walk your foot to the right side and stack your knee on top of your ankle. A little fun meridian point. Take your thumb, I'm gonna lift my foot up so you can see, and place it on the bottom of your toe mound 
where your big toe and the middle toe are, right between there. Push your thumb into that spot on your foot. That's your heart meridian. Create softness and openness. More space for the things that really matter. Big breath in. And breathe out. If you're in double pigeon, make your way back to figure four. Then extend your left leg straight, extend your right leg straight. Give your leg a little wiggle. And extend your right leg long. Bring the sole of your left foot to your inner thigh. Moving into seated side stretch. Place your right palm to your shin or your toes. Inhale, sweep your left palm up and overhead. Fill up, pull your heart through your shoulders and welcome a deep, expansive breath into the left side of your body, your ribs and your lungs. Maybe you feel the warmth of your body and the coolness of your breath. Perhaps there's a little sweat dripping. Anchor your left sit bone down. One more round of breath here, inhale. Exhale, slowly come up, ground your left palm behind you. You can keep your right leg straight or bend your right knee and bring your right knee to connect to the sole of your left foot. Ground both hips down. Place your right palm to the outside of your left knee and twist towards the left. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist, ring anything out that's no longer serving you, my friends. One more, breathe in, find length. Exhale, twist. Inhale, back to center. A little counter twist on your exhale. Then extend your right leg straight. Bring your left foot on top of your right knee. First seated figure four. Flex your foot to protect your knee. You can stay here. We're moving into double pigeon. Remember, our bodies are not same side to side. So notice which side has more space more opening or more tightness and contraction. And physically, use your breath as a tool to uncoil that tightness, uncoil that tugging and pulling on your body. And again, you can take your thumb onto your heart meridian at the sole of your left foot between your big toe and middle toe. Lift your chest, breathe deep. Two more breaths here. One more breath. And slowly come back through seated figure four if you're in double pigeon. Extend your right leg straight, and then you'll switch it out. Extend your left leg straight. Bring the sole of your right foot to your left inner thigh. Keep your knee bent. Place your left palm to your toes or your shin, whatever you can make placement on. Inhale, sweep your right palm up and overhead. Exhale, pull your chest through your shoulders. And again, if you can hold your foot or you can also grab for your opposite knee to create more rotation. But wherever you are, feel the spaciousness of your breath. Expand into your right side and glue your right sit bone down. Option to close your eyes and tune in to your inner awareness. Free yourself of anything else clinging to your body. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, bend your left knee. Bring the sole of your right foot to the top of your left knee. Ground both sits bones down. Walk your right palm to the outside of your hip. Twist towards the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, twist again. Ring anything out that's no longer serving you. Give yourself permission to soften, maybe even places you didn't know were tight. Release and come back to a counter twist. Then slowly scoot yourself to the center of your mat. Roll all the way down onto your backs with control. Welcome both of your knees to your chest. Happy baby. Same way we started, we end. But this time notice where do you feel more open? Maybe you can grab for a deeper grip on your feet. 
slightly tuck your chin in, iron out your spine, and breathe into your entire back line. One more full cycle of breath here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, welcome your knees to your chest, and this time kiss your forehead to knees. In fact, give yourself a kiss on both knees of gratitude for being here. Hold, breathe in. Exhale, resting pose, Shavasana. Extend your legs to the width of your mat. Flip your palms face up by your sides. Part your lips and return to a natural rhythm of breath. I will mind the time, but for now, surrender and give yourself permission to be held and supported here by the gravity of earth beneath you. I'll cue you out in just a moment. Give yourself permission to stay here in stillness, supported by the ground beneath you. And this might be the end of your experience in your physical practice, but allow your breath to return, creating space for more conscious breath and movement. Breathe in, fill up into your lungs. And breathe out, invite movements into your fingers and your toes, your wrists and your ankles. Again, you're welcome to stay here or when you're ready, begin to reach your arms from your feet. Bend your knees and roll onto your right or left side. Pausing for a moment, use your arm as a cradle for your head. Feel the support of your body supporting your soul, your spirit inside. When you're ready, press yourself up to a seat. And if you're leaving class, you can join your palms together and bow your chin to your chest, honoring yourself for showing up. Or join us for a seated meditation so I invite you to either stay in a lay down position for your meditation or come to a comfortable seat. And this could look like cross-legged or kneeling. Align your shoulders over your hips. Lift your chest. And gently close your eyes or soften your gaze. Take a complete breath here. Breathe in, fill up into your lungs, your heart space, and exhale, soften, let go. Again, breathe in, fill up and expand. And breathe out. Last one, breathe in and breathe out. So I'll guide you through um, what is called meta meditation. 
This is um, a Buddhist meditation, but it's secular. So um, whatever your beliefs or your values are, this can be really for, for any moment. And I really find it the most valuable in times of challenge and in times where um, you need an anchor for extending loving kindness, not only to others, but also to yourself. So metta, metta, M-E-T-T-A, means boundless uh, friendliness or loving kindness. So with your eyes closed, begin to visualize yourself, starting with self. It's the most important person. Starts with you. And so this could be an image of you as a child, it could be an image of you in this moment, but whatever visualization comes to your mind of who you are, your essence of self, let that be your focus. Then repeat to self, may I be happy. May I be free from suffering and harm. May I be peaceful and at ease. Just notice as you repeat these mantras or metas into your mind towards self, if any sensation of loving kindness bubbles to surface and allow those to be the thoughts that you anchor. Repeat again to self, may I be happy. May I be free from suffering and harm. May I be peaceful and at ease. Breathe in, breathe out, and then allow that vision of self to float off into the ether and start to bring a vision of a friend or someone who has deeply cared for you, whatever the first person or being has popped into your mind, allow that to be who you visualize. And once you have that vision in your mind, repeat in your mind, may you be happy. May you be free from suffering and harm May you be peaceful and at ease. Notice if sensations of loving kindness float through your thoughts. Allow those to be your anchor. Repeat one more time. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering and harm. May you be peaceful and at ease. Breathe in. And breathe out. And allow that vision of the friend or someone who cared for you deeply start to dissipate and dissolve. And bring in mind a stranger or an acquaintance. And maybe this is someone you pass by on your outdoor walk today or someone who worked at your favorite restaurant or your grocery store, wherever you've encountered a stranger or an acquaintance. Bring that face of that person into your thoughts, your mind's eye. And repeat in your mind, once you have that person in your sight, may you be happy. 
May you be free from suffering and harm. May you be peaceful and at ease. Notice if thoughts of loving kindness bubble and surface for you. And allow that to be the root for your thoughts. And again, repeat with that person's face in your mind. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering and harm. May you be peaceful and at ease. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then bring to mind a person who maybe challenges you a little. Whoever that is in your mind creates a little resistance for you. Visualize that person's face or energy. Notice a shift of energy. Keep in your state and repeat, may you be happy. May you be free from suffering and harm. May you be peaceful and at ease. Notice if thoughts of loving kindness bubble to surface. And allow those to be your thought, your anchor. And again, with that person, in your mind's eye, repeat one more time. May you be happy. May you be free from suffering and harm. May you be peaceful and at ease. And then allow that vision of the person who challenges you begin to dissolve and free from your thoughts. Then start to visualize a community that you belong to. So this could be your yoga studio, it could be a community, a team, it could be your family, a group of people that you belong to and you are included in this vision. So who are the people? See them in your mind's eye. Include yourself in that vision, the community that you belong to. Once you have that in your mind center, repeat in your mind, may we be happy. May we be free from suffering and harm. May we be peaceful and at ease. And again, notice any sensations of love and kindness and compassion bubble and allow that to move through your thoughts. Keep those faces of your community. Repeat one more time. May we be happy. May we be free from suffering and harm. May we be peaceful and at ease. Breathe in, breathe out. Allow for those faces of your community to dissolve from your mind's eye. And just for a moment in this pause, in this stillness, just notice, be a witness to this openness and this spaciousness in your mind and in your heart. And this beautiful, amazing capacity you've created to love, to be kind, to connect to self and to others. Place 
your left palm on top of your heart and your right palm right on top of that. And just for a moment, breathe into this beautiful beating heart. Give yourself gratitude for showing up to move and breathe. And then draw both palms together at your heart, bow your chin to your chest, giving yourself gratitude. And also gratitude to those who shared this awesome experience together through this virtual class experience. We bow. Namaste. Thank you so much, yogis. We have two minutes left. And I'd love to just keep it open if you have anything you'd like to share from your experience in class or the meditation and how becoming aware of your openness and your space. Yeah, thank you, Marielle. Um, and the imprint of that for you. So whatever you'd like to share, we've got another minute or so left. I'll leave the chat function open. You are a radiant soul, Diane. Thank you. Mm. Sage River Consulting. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grant. This made my day too. Thank you, Amy. So grateful for you. I hope you all have a restful rest of your evening, whatever time zone you're in. Mm, thanks, Guy. And please practice loving kindness to yourself, to your family, to your loved ones, or your chosen family. Drink a lot of water. Thank you, Adrian. Wonderful end to my day, too. Thanks, Neil. And get a lot of rest in this pause and breathe time. So important. Thank you, Carissa. Thank you, Megan. Thank you, Robin. I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your night. Feel free to keep typing in the chat and enjoy yourselves. We'll see you tomorrow morning, 8 a.m. Yeah, 1 p.m. and 6 p.m. Mountain Time. Thanks, Joel. Um, live streaming daily. Thank you, Minsoon. Yeah, that one's, that one's hard. The extending love to uh, people who challenge us. Thank you, Amy.